get togethers they can be the best of times and for many the worst of times casey combat coach dolores jones is here to help us through the family gathering anxiety dolores you have a ton of tips the big one you say first is look your best you have to look your best because you know someone is going to come up to you and say you look like you've gained weight or <laughs> i i don't yes. i like your hair better that way and then you're thinking who asked you all that who asked you all that? I'm just happy to see you. So look your absolute best. Do the best that you can with what you have. And personal model, you say You have go to have a in, personal model. Like a personal mantra that you keep right, repeating? Right, a personal mantra okay. so when you go to these family reunions, you know why you're there. So, for example, eat, play, dance. Okay. Okay. Eat, laugh, dance. I know at our family and reunion. And you just say it over and over again? You say it Eat, over because you keep it in your eat, mind. Laugh, dance. Right. Because we're going to do the bus stop about 15 times. So uh -huh. once I get the 15 times in and I eat the macaroni and cheese and the lemon cake and all of that, and I'm going to laugh, ha, 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 ha. I'm not going to go into anything deep, no right. drama. My business is not your business. I haven't seen you in a couple of years. You didn't call before then, so I'm not going to spill it all right now. One of your tips you said was, obviously, you say keep it superficial, which is a brilliant tip, but what do you do when you get that that relative that just wants to pry in and ask you all those nosy questions? You either dismiss yourself, sometimes you have to walk away, and you'll say, it was good seeing you. I'm gonna go get some cake now. I'm gonna go get some pie now. Mid-question? Yes. Like they ask that question? Right, you know they're gonna ask the question. You have right. those family members that are always gonna ask those questions. They wanna be in your business, and that's just the way it is. So you can simply say, fine, I changed my mind, maybe next time. That's it. <laughs> Those yes. three? Yeah. How's your ex-husband? Fine. Uh -huh. Why are you divorced? I changed my mind. Are you going to get married? <laughs> maybe next time. I'm just, hello. And then smile. And okay. you have to smile because, you know, in your, in your mind, you really want to say a couple of things, but you know you can't do that because that's yeah. your family, so you just want to... <laughs> and do you smile sincerely or with dagger eyes? Well, you know, because in your mind, you've already anticipated who's going to say what and how they're going to say it to you. So you want to keep your answer short, sweet, and to the point. You talk about playing a mental game of bingo. Yes, okay, you know somebody's gonna be a little tipsy because they've already had too much or by the time they get there they've had too much uh -huh. or they brought extra people. You know this, it happens every year so don't act brand new. You know it's gonna happen. <laughs> so you wanna play a game of bingo. Now okay. Martha Beck talked about it in an Oprah magazine, right? It's called mm -hmm. Dysfunctional Family Bingo. So you write down the things on a card that you know is gonna happen. So. Tony's drunk. Okay, it's on there, right? So if right. it happens, you give yourself a point. And you can have another family member do this with you or a friend that knows that you yes. really don't want to go. And so you find out if you win. And if you win, you go to lunch or something. That way, you already know. Don't, don't trip out or stress. Also, give yourself a deadline. You know how long you're going to be there. Mm -hmm. If you say, I'm going to be there for two hours, then you go. And after two hours, you have to leave, right? Right. That's it. And so if you have a wingman, like a trusted cousin, mm -hmm. you can play bingo with them? Yes. Like then, my favorite cousin who's, uh -huh. who's on the grill every year is JoJo. I know that I can depend on JoJo. Uh -huh. I, I can depend on JoJo. I can just walk away and just take a breather like this. And he'll say, you okay? And i say, I'm okay. But I love my family, right? Yeah. It's just ra rather entertaining, too. People hold yeah. on to grudges. Girl, when you were six years old, I remember you said such and such. You're like, we 43, for real. You still <laughs> holding on to that? You still holding on to that? I'm just going to have to walk away. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Fine. We have, Maybe next time. We have a link to Dolores on our website. We also love giving Dolores questions from you. So mm -hmm. post any questions or issues you're having on our Better Kansas City Facebook page. You might just see Dolores yes. addressing them uh -huh. in her next episode of All Things Dolores. Yes. Thank Bus stop you. time, baby. Bus stop time. Bus stop time. Yeah, you come to the family reunion and we teach you. We're <laughs> okay. going to teach Alexis the bus stop. If you stop by at the at the uh, Wyandotte Lake, uh -huh. that's what our we do that thing. The bus stop? Yes. Okay. It's All a right. tradition. All right. It's a tradition. I'm up for a new tradition. <laughs> it's a tradition. Okay, Dave.